Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane. This video is part of my Infinite Game Score series, and today we're going to be talking about Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. Uncharted 3 is the final Uncharted game on the PlayStation 3, but thankfully not the last game in the series. The Lawrence of Arabia theme was a great and welcome addition to the Uncharted storyline. The engine of Uncharted 3 is finally polished to a mirror shine. No longer is hand-to-hand -hand combat a disjointed disaster. Instead, it's replaced with a cinematic flow. The story, as always, is gripping. From clever con men to the ever-growing threat of a shadowy, secret society, and all of the other essentials that make an Uncharted game stand out, from the rest of the treasure hunting adventure genre. This game quickly takes hold and pulls you along for one hell of a good story. Now let me be clear about one thing. The story is not the only star here. The action and the combat are some of the best I've experienced on the PlayStation 3. The game only lets up just long enough for you to question what to do next, and trust me, it's an exciting tempo for the game. As things stand, Uncharted 3 is my favorite in the series. However, I must admit, as I'm writing this review, I have not completed Uncharted Lost Legacy. Now, let's get on with the unlimited game score. Starting off like every other game, it gets a 3 because, well, it exists and people had the passion to bring this game to life. It is both physical and digital, so there it scores a point. The immersion, like all of the other Uncharted games, is great, but it did not make me feel like that I was lost in the game. It definitely was great, but it only scores two points. Voice actors, it scores a point. Game length, it scores two points. Story, it's very good and scores two points. Level designs, scores two points. Complete experience, scores two points. Sense of progression. This game, I felt a really good sense of progression. Um, the mechanics were just correct for that overall feeling and it definitely exceeded my expectations, so it scores three points. Fairness, punishing RNG. It scores one point. Um, some points, the, you know, it, there are parts in the game where it felt like uh, there was a difficulty spike that was a little harsh. Uh, game value to MSRP cost. It scores two points. Uh, let's see. Soundtrack, three points. Guys, the soundtrack in this game is phenomenal. I absolutely loved it. Visuals, two points. Difficulty, two points. Gameplay slash combat, three points. Like I said, they finally polished the engine for, for uh, this series and did a great job with it. Controls, two points. Camera, one point. Yeah, um, there's still some camera issues with this game, uh, with this series overall. Uh, unlockables and rewards, one point. And sense of accomplishment, three points. I definitely felt like I earned my victory when I finished this game. Um, so guys, that brings us to a total of 38. Uh, that's really, really high for, for a PlayStation 3 title. Um, uh, it's almost a 40, which is good for a PlayStation 4 title. But um, that's it, guys. Have a wonderful day. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.